In the world of Los Santos, there's a type of player that hunts their competition or predator who hunts down prey. You might be familiar with them with their appearance such as bulletproof helmet, face paint or their black goth outfit to try their best to make the character model smaller. My name is Mysterious and I'll be going over the dark side of tryhards that nobody tells you. Now before I go over over this uh, video, I just want to make sh make clarify that this is not like a a more of a more of a how I say putting it down on the tryhard community. This is more of a like the real the reality of being tryhard so any dramas or any scenarios that might have been more about bashing no this is not a just not those kind of videos the purpose of this video is to clarify the the actual purpose of uh, what it's like to be a tryhard as well as um, what the community is all about so another another disclaimer for this one is that I won't go over too much of a drama. That's more. That would not only make the video a lot longer. It will also. It's there's so much drama in drama tryhard community to the point that you could probably make like a like a Netflix document about it. So I'm gonna be going over just the. So I won't go over too much about the drama, but we'll talk about like the what caused the the drama and why the drama exist in the first place so i hope you understand the the top the context about this uh, video so whether your tryhard respects about to respect the, the community or your casual grinder who just despise these kind of players because let's be honest they can't really fight back for shit <laughs> so sit back sit back grab your coffee grab your tea and maybe grab your BST and most importantly enjoy the video before I go over the truth of being a tryhard we need to find out the origins of a tryhard the, defini the definition of a tryhard is a person who participate in a game or other activity with too much enthusiasm emotion effort or commitment however a However, I couldn't find who was the first person to use the phrase tryhard until I googled it and found out it was first used in 1920 to 1922 in England. My guess it was used in sports because it also competitive. So there's the origins of the phrase tryhard. Now I'm going to be going over the evolution of a tryhard in the game. When GTA Online was released back in 2013, the earliest tryhard tactic that existed at that time were Rhino Tank, Laser, Buzzard, and Off the Radar, along with using heavy weapons. However, Rockstar updated the game and added new features in the game for years, such as the Bulletproof Helmet and Last Team Standing DLC, the homing launcher in 2014 festa dlc the hydra and the heist dlc in 2015 as well as the the vip and the ceo ability from executive and other criminal dlc and finance and felony dlc even though these features and weaponized vehicles were added and existed in those time the tryhard community were very small and back in 2013-2016, not many people made PvP content. The closest ha to having a PvP content were kill montages. But even though those, the video existed back then, most GTA players would just watch other content creators. And most of the time they would just do races. And those content creators they take insp inspiration were Jelly, Vanos Gaming, Expert Thief, Hide the Gaming, etc., etc., and many more. 
However, that will not last until the, the, the golden era that increased the tryhards' attention and increased the community a lot was in 2017 where there was a noticeable change with the content and players noticed how, how incredible that these players were able to show off their skills in the community such as RNG, base, RPG, jets and most well known clip vehicle snipe. This era also revealed a lot of well known well known PvP creators such as Fan Shui, Mojmas, Medpro, Arson Y and like and many more. I mean to be honest I can't really name them. There's so many I can't name all of them. Although it was a very good e although it was a very good era, that wouldn't last until December 2017 when the Doomsday Heist was released. They had a lot of we weaponized vehicles such as the Kajali tank which was way better than its com competition. The Cooler Self Helicopter which literally gives you permanent off the radar and gives the player a surprise attack. And the Deluxo which known as the DeLorean from Back to the Future came with a, a very good tracking missiles in, if not one of the best tracking missiles in the game and another feature they added into the facility that not only changed pvp forever for the worse it also caused a massive complaint to the community the orbital canyon this feature gives the player to spend about 500,000 for manual shot or 750,000 dollars for auto shot which would destroy any player with one shot no matter what vehicle or where you are. However, it does have some flaws such as certain buildings the, buildings the orb can't reach or vehicles like Avenger or MSC trailer protecting you while inside and after one shot you have to wait 48 minute cooldown to get another shot. The biggest problem with this feature is that Rockstar added something that a player could spend their money just to get an easy 1-0. And the worst part is, there are exploits that allow you to get refund or use the orb orbital cannon constantly which destroys the PvP. Unfortunately, the orb wasn't the only problem the players were going to face because in After Hours DLC released in July 2018, Rockstar hands some of a, a new weaponized vehicle that was part of a drift feed and one of the vehicle caught in the community in the eyes was the Oppressor Mark II. The first version of Oppressor was pretty powerful with 20 missiles with good tracking and could glide with a boost. However, the Oppressor Mark II could fly, carry 20, carry 20 missiles with also very powerful tracking and comes with countermeasures. This vehicle changed free mode forever to the point where you need to own a present mark 2 when you just started playing GTA online. However in 2018 the trial community was still going strong and the community kept growing well as well as the content as well as the content. However 2018 was also the era where battle royale games were exploding such as PUBG and Fortnite and people were watching the content not for the personality but just for the competitive skills not difference to GTA Online. This change of PvP also had massive complaints from the casuals and the oppositions, the grinders, the grinder community about, about players taking the game seriously even though GTA Online is a sand it's a sandbox game since the game it was released where you can do almost anything you want to desire. Despite them always freaking out for people judging them, they think that grinders seem to care for their PvP nonsense. I don't. There was also a rise of dramas from Tryhard community. Whether it's content creators beefing with other content creators to grab their attention or posting social media bragging about being better than everyone or worse putting a copy strike on them on another content creator for just having their name in their video. This drama will continue in 2019 and it was no different. Some tryhard content creators were getting views and there was some drama along with it. However, that would not last until 2020, until present day. There was a problem with PvP where they noticed the tryhards play style. Some of them with some of them will play passively, such as using ghost, ghost organization, RC vehicles, which will give you off the radar permanently, K 
Campion at, at Avenger, Okasaka, Thermal Helmet Exploits, and the worst one, using glitches that broke PvP. It got to the point where it became about playing dirty all the time. Where some players might say, when they always play P dirty all the time? Yes, but at the same time, at least you can find a way to counter it. It was more easy to counter those dirty tactics back then, than today, where almost impossible unless you use some kind of exploit. It got to the point where it got to where it became about playing dirty. Not only that, some of the tryhards ex use exploits like guard mode, job teleport, permanent offer it, and to have high advantage, which all that resulted to, to change in year other than resulted to tryhards doing all this for two things high KD and higher score than opponent. Nothing has changed in years other than adding new weaponized vehicle or patching some of the features and vehicles such as the KD no longer affecting free mode or laser or hydra canyons getting nerfed and Bressa Mark do getting nerfed where the tra missile tracking was pretty bad as well as um, a large cooldown on the chaff but even with all the changes, it will not bring back the glory days where PvP was actually fun. In conclusion, Tryhard try channels wasn't huge until 2017, then Rockstar added broken features that changed PvP forever. Tryhard community has a beef to see who's better and now the playstyle is more passive than aggressive. But all of this, all of this playstyle, no matter how hard you tried, in reality, there is no reward. If you won the fight, even if you won the fight, if you won the fight, even if you're better than the player you're fighting with, there's always someone who's better than you. So therefore, nobody wins.